uh, Kicking Me to the Cross was a song that uh, I'd actually I'd start, started writing at my, uh, my house, just playing on the piano, kind of working on, you know, I had this song idea, and, and I started the chorus, and, and all I could think of lyric-wise was just the words hallelujah over and over again, and I just, I started, you know, just playing through, I don't even know how to play piano, and I was just kind of, kind of stumbling around, and, and it landed on that chorus, and kind of wrote a verse, and then I had scheduled a writing appointment with a, a friend of mine named Jason Walker, who's a, a writer in town here in Nashville, and uh, I got together with him and, and our buddy uh, Mark Stewart from the band Audio Adrenaline, and uh, so the three of us got together, and, and we, uh, you know, I brought this idea in, just like, hey, you know, I, I started this this idea, I don't know where it's going, and uh, so we started talking, you know, and ultimately it, it got to the point where it was like, well, you know, what what is it that makes us say hallelujah? You know, what does hallelujah actually mean? And uh, when we got around to the, the idea that the fact that the God that created the universe, who created everything we see around us and, and created us, ourselves, that's the same God that came down and died on the cross for us and saved us from our own sin. And, and the massive idea behind that of the fact that that same God carries us every day in our lives and takes us through every situation, every trial, every hard thing we go through, uh, he carries us through daily, and it, and we can't even crawl to the foot of the cross on our own power. It has to be Him pulling us to Him, and and I think that idea is so massive uh, that there, there aren't many words that can really come close to, you know, explaining how massive that is, you know, and, and how grateful we need to be for the fact that we have a God that that is willing to reach into our lives daily and into every small detail of, uh, of what we go through and carry us back to the to the foot of the cross every day. So uh, that's where the song came from, and, and I love that it just it's just a worshipful cry, uh, just uh, kind of proclaiming just how, how massive God is and how he still pours into our every detail of our, our daily life. So. My favorite Bible verse is probably Romans 5, 8, which says that uh, God so commandeth his love toward us that while we are yet sinners, Christ died for us. And uh, actually, I have it tattooed on my arm to remind me of that because I think it's, it's such a massive uh, just picture of the fact that, you know, I think we get caught up in, in our life sometimes with thinking, that, oh man, I've, you know, I've fallen too far or you know, God could never forgive me of this. And, and that, that verse just states that, that, that in your darkest, worst place ever, that's who, who Christ died for. Not the, not the you walking around at church, you know, pretending like everything's fine. Not, you know, not you on a good day. He died for you on your worst day. Um, and I think that's, that's a huge thing to really keep in mind as we go through life, I think, is that no matter how far you fall or no matter what, issue you're having in your life, you know, no matter how massive you feel like that is, uh, or, or how impassable it may feel, um, that our God died for us in, in, in that state, you know, that while we were yet sinners, Christ came and died for us and chose to save us. So, um, when you really think about that through your life, you know, it really, it, I think that's what gives us the hope to, to press on is knowing that, that he loves us no matter what. So that's always been a massive, uh, just kind of, life verse for me. I think one of the coolest tour experiences that I've had, you know, since I've been in the band was probably when we went out with uh, Casting Crowns a couple years ago. Um, I think there's lots of reasons why it was such a great tour. Obviously, that's just a, a great band, you know, they make great music. And uh, it was just, a, it, was a, it was a huge tour for us to be on. Um, so there's all those cool, you know, typical elements, but I think the biggest thing that impacted me, um, was just how they operate and, and the, and their focus as a band is so ministry. Um, you, you almost forget that, you know, you're in a, in a music industry and, and in a business at all. You know, when, when we were out on tour with them, it was very much, um, you know, there was no like, oh, well, you know, there's the headliner and the opener and this, you know, I mean, from, Casting Crowns all the way to the crew on that tour. 
It was just family. And uh, I think they taught us a ton uh, about just what it means to be a leader and, as a band, you know, and, and, and to keep the focus on, on the fans. Um, and I think a huge thing we saw uh, on that tour was, you know, every day they go out, Mark Hall leads a Bible study, and on tour they'll, they'll go out every day and pray over the seats of, of the venue for that night. And and pray for this, you know, the people that are coming that night, and and for God to do a, a work that that night through the concert, you know. And I think, uh, and we've since carried that into a lot of our own tours, you know. And it, it keeps a perspective where all of a sudden, you know, I'm on stage that night and I'm looking out at, at the crowd and I look at the seat where I was sitting that afternoon, you know, praying for that audience. And all of a sudden, I see the person that is in the seat that I prayed over. Uh, and it just kind of it reminds you that this isn't just you know, us on the stage playing music and hopefully people like us and, and buy merch. Um, it's, it's, it's all just about souls coming and God bringing those people there for a reason that night. And, and he chooses to use us in that moment, but he doesn't need us at all, you know, and, and it's, it's not about us. Um, as cliche as that may sound, it really is just not a, about us. Uh, God wants to do a work and we're, we're blessed to be a part of that. And I think uh, through that Casting Crowns tour, you know, we just learned a lot. I know I learned a lot about what it means to even be a Christian, you know, and my identity being in being a Christian, not in being a band or being part of Cutlass or, or anything, you know. Um, so that was, a, that was just a really impacting tour for me, and I know all of us kind of carried a lot out of that and applied it to, uh, to everything we do uh, in, in Cutlass. Uh, I'm not sure what uh our set list is going to look like i think this year uh we, we want to play you know a lot of the new stuff that's always you know it's hard not to want to play like the whole new album you know every time you put a new album it's it's the most exciting new stuff um so we'll probably have quite a few of the new songs off the new record um I, I, we always like pulling some old stuff out so um, especially for the summer festivals, you know, I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if we bring back, you know, one or two of the old rock songs and, you know, maybe spice them up, make them fresh again. So uh, you never know. I never know <laughs> what, what we're going to pull out uh, set list wise, but I know that we, we always try to have a good mix. So um, I'm, I'm excited. You know, I think we're all pretty pumped about the new record and, and getting to go out and, you know, really focus on the show and and take people on a, on a journey of some kind, you know, musically, um, at the, at the shows coming up this year. So you never know what we're going to pull out, but I'm, we're excited about, uh, about seeing everybody this year and being out on the road again and uh, having a new record to tour.